Hi, everybody. Here we are at the final table of the Mustache Open. Uh, Brendan versus Mikey for all the marbles, or templates in this case. Uh, gentlemen, when you are ready, go. So timer is started. Uh, Mikey has a seven point bid on this. So I believe he has given initiative to Brendan. Is that correct? Okay, so Brendan has initiative. Uh, Thweek is, I believe, shadowed on quick draw. Is that correct? Shadowed on quick draw? Yeah, okay, so we have a shadowed on quick draw with Thweek. So both Dengar and Thweek are PS9 versus. Oh no? With oh, okay. So he is. Uh, is okay, so Tweak is actually a ten now uh, because of the adaptability up on Quick Draw. There we go. So that is reflected now in the overlay. Dengar starting things off with a bank three. Mikey contemplating his barrel roll back and out. So there is... Uh, There's the rest of them. So some slow moving, some little bit of jockeying for position here. A slow roll from Thweek as he just moves a forward one. And Mikey taking advantage of that twisty barrel roll to push Thweek over and back a bit. All right, so then we are back to dials down here. So focus held on quick draw without advanced optics. Mikey second guessing his Dengar dial. Brendan just doing a quick double check. All right, dials are flipping. Got Inquisitor doing a slow roll bank. Again, just some jockeying for position, trying to get, figure out where everybody is. And a push limit for that focus, just in case. Colonel Bessery just sort of skirting the edge of the board there. K turning. Wasting some time, waiting for those guys to close up. Free evade from the X7 title, and a focus. Mm -hmm. 
And Dengar looks like he's advancing with that bank three. And the barrel roll out from the look of it. Pushing about halfway forward. Looks like all the way forward. Looks like he's going to try and push on Inquisitor at this point. And then quick draw at 10, doing a bank out. Still packing that focus from the uh, advanced optics. And barrel rolling over. Okay, and Mikey is uh, now got to reveal his tweak when he's ready here. Hmm. Not what I expected. Uh, a little bit of a slow roll from Tweak. Moving forward a bit. So into combat, looks like a range three. And so Mikey ends up with two hits. Lone wolfing the one blank into another blank. So two hits from Dengar on the Inquisitor. He's going to spend that focus for two evades and auto thrusters up for three. <coughs> oh, and he's choosing not to shoot back with Quizzy. He does not want to chance that uh, potential Dengar wreckage, I guess. Sweeping his tokens from his other ships there. Lots of thought going into this here. Tweak his dials down. Looks like uh, Brendan is thinking really, really hard about where to put that uh, Inquisitor. Quizzy is in a bit of an interesting spot right now. He's got potential to do some very something very lethal to, or sorry, sort of very damaging to Dengar. But uh, Dengar also has the uh, potential to get in there and wreck him up too. Of 
course, Mikey doing what Tweak does, which is stay the heck out until you really need him. All right, dials are down. Both of them have signaled ready, and we have Quizzy starting things off with a forward three. I think I see what he's got going on here. That uh, that doesn't give Dengar a lot of options for movement right now. He's going to pull up that target lock to get the free evade and is going to push the limit for that focus. He is fully tanked with as many tokens as he can bank. So Vessery also closing up there, bank three. And just for shiggles, he wanted to see what, his, what a turn three might have done for him. He's very grateful now that he actually did a bank three. exactly what I expected from his Dengar but I think that was a very clever uh, maneuver there getting himself away from Quizzy and closer into quick draw he, uh, he's gonna have a bad time from Vessery uh, looks like Vessery's got a pretty good shot but uh, hopefully depending on what uh, quick draw's got he might end up with a block there Quick draw, closing up there for the bump. That was a good maneuver, I think, on Mikey's part, getting Dengar closer. May not get that counterattack, but um, basically keeping um, Quick draw from doing anything effective is really, really a good thing. He's still got his tweak out there. Thinking hard on that action right now. Looks like he is attempting a boost. I think that is going to end up in uh, a rock overlap. So oh, that is not. Oh my good, that is tight. That was some good planning or good luck. Uh, I think on this case on Thweek's part. So now we are at end of activation and beginning of start of combat. Mikey is thinking of his start of combat. He is popping, yeah, there you go. He pops his countermeasures. Dropping that target lock from the Inquisitor, which is gonna make Vessery's shot a lot less painful, hopefully. Now he's given initiative, unfor oh, and he is also popping his glitter stem. He is serious about this round. Top of the stack is Thweek. Thweek appears to be taking a shot on Quick Draw from the look of it. And uh, Thweek is going to end up with one hit out of that. And uh, there's double evades from Quick Draw.
So we got Dengar into Vessery at uh, what appears to be range one. Yep. Dengar, four dice. Here it comes. Ooh, that could be better. That could be better. Now, Glitter Stim's going to turn that up. Tweak is too close for that uh, Lone Wolf, so that is simply two hits from Dengar on Vessery. Uh, Vessery apparently doesn't like his dice. And uh, we end up with one evade and the evade token, so Vessery shrugs that off. All right, so we're dropping now to eight on the pilot stack. So we've got Colonel Vessery at PS8 with four dice back into Dengar. Nice, spending the focus for two hits and a crit. Dengar is gonna get three dice and that glitter stim turn up. So some good luck going on with Dengar maybe. And uh, there's Dengar with three. There you go, three evades and shrugs it off. That was a very good chance, a very good time to use that uh, glitter stem and the countermeasures there. Now I don't, wow, nobody has taken damage yet? Seriously? Wow, wow, I was expecting to clear at least some shields off in the first couple rounds, but uh, this is impressive. Both these guys just tabbing one last think here before they go into uh, activation phase. Oh, there we go. Uh, got those tokens swept. They are good, so we are moving into activation. Looks like Quizzy doing a hard turn one in towards combat. Quizzy just barely able to target lock tweak at range three there which is going to give him the evade and he's pushing for that focus as well there we go Full, fully tokened up inquisitor uh Vessary flying out which i was not expecting of course with that rock there he can't really get around it so uh Vessary's just going to take his free evade and uh, looks to be contemplating a barrel roll. And there's that barrel roll back, getting behind the rock. So templating quick draw so that uh, Dengar can do his hard turn two. Just like that. Oof, just getting a look here to see if that's on the rock. That is not on the rock. That is so close though that you could, you could shave. 
with the sharpness of how close that is. Oh, and Dengar not quite able to get the barrel roll in. So Dengar is going to focus up. <laughs> oh gosh. Wow, and just short of the rock with quick draw, but it is a collision into Dengar. I'm not even sure if that is something that they want. And Thweek is also going to collide with Dengar. It looks like Thweek and quick draw might have an opportunity to shoot each other through Dengar. All right, there we go. And Tweak is going to pop the Glitter Stam at start of combat. Yep. One long row is good, too. However you can fit us. I can do either one. Yep. We're flexible. <laughs> yep. I just didn't know if it made a difference for you running it live. Not really. I can be loud, too, so. <laughs> Oh, and spending that focus for the three hits. Oh, Mikey apparently likes to bounce those dice out. It is, it is. Take one. So that's two evades, and he's going to take one. All right, so that was one on Tweak. Tweak is now shooting back with that advanced proton torpedo. Or at least trying to, trying to. Alright, so we just had to make sure that that pro advanced proton was actually legit. Mikey's going to drop them five dice. Oh, what an amazing flat roll, too. And so, turns up with the Glitter Stim into five hits on Quick Draw. Now, is a, that is a good time to hit Quick Draw. And Quick Draw with the two focuses. Already spent the focus, though, and so that is all three shields and two hulls. So Quick Draw is going to get that shot back now into... Oh. There it is. Oh, wow. Sorry. Oh, wow. That was great. So a hit and two crits on the counterattack. Uh, Thweek with the two evades and takes a single crit, which is... Just read the title. Stunned Pilot. Stunned Pilot. So that is two hull left on Thweek, is that correct? Uh, 
Oh, oh, that's just the one hit. That's right. All right, so there's Tweak with Stun Pilot. Quick draw down to one hull. So, okay, so Mikey is going to take that range two, I believe, on Vessery. Looks like it's a range two obstructed. That is going to be a range two obstructed. Gengar busting out one hit from the look of it. He's gonna, still got that focus token. It looks like he is going to use the focus token to turn that up into three. So Vessery with four dice and that token. Uh, looks like he's going to shrug off two of that and take a shield. Now this is Quizzy shooting into Dengar. He's going to target lock all of that because it was nothing. A whole lot of nothing. There we go. Into hit, hit, and crit from the Inquisitor into Dengar. Dengar, now because that's obstructed with that rock in the way, he is going to get three dice. From, oh, from the stims. That's right. Oh wait, was that Tweak that he was shooting at then? Yeah. Oh, he was shooting at Tweak. Okay, sorry, I thought he was shooting at Dengar. So instead that was uh, Tweak. Uh, Glitter Sim turns that up for three and he totally avoids it. He was going for that kill shot on Tweak and I don't blame him. Brendan is a little trepidatious here with that quick draw on one hit point. He wants to keep quick draw alive, maintain that margin. And he really, really doesn't want to end up over that rock. Now I think he was hoping that Dengar was going to be out of the way last turn so that he could come across that rock, possibly lose a shield, and get an immediate attack on uh, uh, Tweak and roast him up. But uh, good use of Dengar as a blocker there with Mike, by Mikey. Almost, an, almost accidental because Mikey wanted to barrel roll uh, closer from the sound of it, which would have cleared everything out. Of course, right? Yeah. IG-88. Yeah, IG-88. Yeah. This is IG-88 And there's a few different IG-80 something droids to go with. Well, IG-88 A through B. Or A through D. And each of them have different abilities. We share them with other IG-88s. So if you have B and C, they both have each other's ability. Which is really the right combination. 
All right, so we got a one bank from the Inquisitors. Low rolling. One bank to victory. And yep, full load. So target lock for uh, the evade and then push the limit for the focus. And there is a hard turn one from Dengar. He's not moving too far away. He's still pretty fresh right now. So, matter of fact, I think he's totally fresh right now. Yep. Tweak is the one that has taken some damage. He isn't very happy about things. Really needs to not bump this turn. And uh, wow, quick draw with the YOLO over the rock and into Tweak. All right, so you may as well roll for that. You may as well roll for the uh, rock there to see whether or not you even uh, managed to land that properly. And he's hoping for not that hit. Oh man, that was brutal. Ouch, quick draw down. That, are, that gives Mikey 35 point uh, start on this match. Hopefully, Tweak is not going to overlap that rock. Mikey is pretty good about not overlapping. Ooh, looks like he avoids. Clears that stress. He's still packing that uh, crit token there. Oh boy, that's going to be not good news against the Inquisitor. And I think he might be too close to the rock to complete a barrel roll. Looks like he's going to try, though. Oh my goodness, he's going to roll back and right behind that rock. He, he's not going to have a choice next turn but to go over that rock. But this turn at the very least, he, it looks like he's going to have an obstructed shot from, the, uh, from Inky if Inky has him in arc at all. All right, so 10, no shot. And so we go move on to Dengar, range one against the Inquisitor. It's out of arc. And so Inquisitor is going to get his auto thrusters. Dengar, four dice. And, uh, well, he's got two focuses, a crit and a blank. And he's going to maul reroll that, take the stress into another hit. So that is a hit and a crit. And pop the focus for three hits and a crit. Inky hoping for something good here. So there's two and auto thrusters, which gives him three, which means only one damage through on Inquisitor. Oh, no damage because of that evade token as well. Almost forgot. That is, that is some good news for Brendan. And it looks like Brendan is going to have a shot as well. That is going to be an obstructed shot at Thweek. So three dice. Pulling up that. He's going to spend the focus for two hits and a crit. That's it. He is too close for auto thruster, so two evades, and Thweek is going to take one. And uh, that was a crit, right? Yeah. Ah, right. So he gets, uh, I think that's loose stabilizer, which is the, uh, is it loose stabilizer, the one? Thrust control. So thrust control fire gives him the stress and then flips it face down. So Vessery is skirting the outside edge of the board there. 
Gengar, of course, didn't get that hit and can't clear that stress from Maul. Lots of heavy duty thinking again. These gentlemen trying to figure out what they're actually doing here. When you execute a maneuver, if you overlap. Yeah. So if you overlap a ship or obstacle, then you take the damage. Not your template is okay. Yeah, it's just it's just not a guarantee. Yeah. Okay, turn four looks like Vessery is uh, going to try and keep himself out and away a bit. Focus of aid. Oh, and I've been delivered a bacon cheeseburger because my wife is the most amazing person in the face of the earth. So Inquisitor trying to get himself out and around a bit. It looks like he might be hoping to get a shot on Tweak. Oh, he's gonna attempt a barrel roll towards the rock. Ooh, tight but close, tight but good. There we go. Oh, he's going to attempt the barrel roll. That is not going to work. Again, that rock in the middle there that ruined everybody's day. And that was the best rock placement. <laughs> I mean, maybe not the best, but pretty good. <laughs> and Dengar with the focus. Oh, no! And that is a dead tweak because rock damage... Uh, oh, yeah, he overlaps the rock and he overlaps the ship, which is two guaranteed damage from that stun pilot. So it looks like Dengar into the Inquisitor. Lone Wolf on the one. He's got three focus results right now.
He is going to spend that focus for three hits. And Inquisitor with the three evades because of that token. Appears to be no. It looks like sounds like it is not obstructed. Uh, being called the judge. Hold up. So that is not an obstructed shot. Oh, it looks like two hits and a third hit, or two crits and a third. Hit, so. Dengar, busting out three. He's gonna lone wolf the one into another focus, and that is Dengar taking three from the look of it. With, uh, with Tweak down, Mikey is at a bit of a disadvantage right now. Uh, both Inquisitor and Vessary are capable of shrugging off considerable amounts of damage when they're full token. are flipping. We have Vessary banking three in towards the fight. No longer skirting the edge of the board. He's decided to get in and get aggressive. And he's going to take his free of eight action and a focus. And uh, Quizzy doing a hard turn one to get behind that rock. Going to clear his stress. Going to target log Dengar to pull up that evade. And then it is contemplating that push the limit. And he's going to boost up to try and stay behind that rock from the look of it. So the, the key there really was getting that target locker Vessary, I think, this turn. Dengar with that hard turn one. Again, really close to that middle rock. That thing has just been a razor's edge cutting people down. And Mikey is going to focus up on Dengar. Ships left on the board, but in this case, it's all ships. Wow, three crits from Dengar. Two evades, and the auto thruster's up. Sorry about that, folks. We had one of the consolation matches go to double KO and final salvo. All right, Vessary taking his range two from the look of it. And 
And so that gives him two hits and a blank. Dengar busting out the two. He's still got that focus. And one evade. He's going to lone wolf that blank into another evade. Shield, right? Oh my god, somebody actually got sweet off the board? I traded sweet. sure to roll that one under the webcam. I know, right? That is a reasonable trade. So Vessary is still with two shields. Quizzy's still with two shields, right? Yeah. Hey, that was your rock placement even, so I can't even complain. That rock has ruined everyone's day. Every time. <laughs> He's got to think hard here because Dengar moving last means he can just sort of pop himself into position. Barrel rolling out. He does not want to be close to Dengar at all. Quizzy, hard turn one. He needs to be aggressive with Quizzy. Dengar being uh, really brave there, pushing past the rock, taking potential damage. No action now. And there we go. He takes a crit. That's the last shield on Dengar. Dengar is going to go range one. Dengar is going to lone wolf. One of those into another hit. Two hits from Dengar into Inquisitor, who shrugs that off like they're made of nothing. Vessary, range three. Wow, target locks immediately, and he's going to spend that. He's got two hits already, three rolling that focus into a blank in this case. Mikey busts out his, and it is two evades and a focus. Twenty-five minutes left, gentlemen. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, dials are down. Just giving, just giving them a moment to give each other the thumbs up here. Oh, Mikey's second guessing, picking up that dial. All right, both are committed. We got Quizzy. Banking one, out and away. Gonna clear that stress. And Quizzy is boosting to try and get behind that rock. And so he's going to push the limit then to take a reacquire that target lock and generate a evade for himself. Vessery pushing in, being aggressive. So bank three inwards. There's his free evade, and he's thinking about his actual action now. <laughs> Gonna focus up and hope to get that target lock. Dengar doing a hard turn two, which is green, should clear that stress off him. And then is attempting to barrel roll outside of Vessery's arc. I'm not sure if he's able to pull it off. Looks like he's gonna be okay. I think that I think that is a dodge there. Yep, good arc dodge, good arc dodge on Mikey's part. So he's gonna have a range one shot into Vessery. Flat roll except for, well, I guess he's got Maul and he's got the all right, so he's got two hits, a focus, and a lone wolfing the blank into a hit. There it is. There's the mall reroll into a focus. So three hits with the mall reroll. Vessery could shrug all of this off. Vessery's going to spend the focus to turn up and the evade and shrug all three off. Double tokens. And no no shots back. So Dengar gets a little bit of respite. While uh, Brendan has to get his ships turned around, Mikey has an opportunity to get Dengar uh, back out and around here. Currently, Brendan is... For some reason, it's counting half on Dengar. We shouldn't necessarily... No, I know, but for some reason it is, so... So Dengar actually only ha still only has the five hull. But I've uh, added a hull because for some reason the uh, overlay is calculating Dengar at half, even though he is not. Mikey thinking hard on that Dengar. <laughs> There's Quizzy turning out. Gonna barrel roll out. There we go. And appears not to be pushing the limit. Uh, ooh, hard turn one from Vessery away. That is a red maneuver. It gives him a stress. All right, Dengar now. Doing a sloop two and not clearing his stress. Oh, 
All right. So it looks like Mikey might have a shot. It is going to be, it looks like range three obstructed at Vessery. But Vessery is tokenless right now. So now is the time to do it. So he's got three dice. Uh, looks like a crit, a focus, and a blank. He's going to re-roll that blank into another focus. So he's got a single crit. Lone Wolf just not doing what he wants. So two evades. Vessery just lets that bounce. Mall wired. All right, Quizzy turning in. <laughs> Why is Inquisitor distressed? What was your? No, Inquisitor, Inquisitor. Oh, it's the boost. Okay, I missed the boost. And yep, Dengar trying to stay out. Got that white sloop going on again. He's hoping. Looks like he might be hoping to clear that stress with Maul. And no shot. Okay, so we sweep and set. Now currently Brendan has point advantage 38 to 35. He doesn't necessarily need to be aggressive. He just needs to stay alive. Yeah, we're gonna take lunch after this, and then so in yeah hour and a quarter, two. I should be back for two. I mean, what happens at two? Last round for these guys.
third round for the consolation bracket because that gets you yeah, and then the drawing and stuff. And then drawing and stuff, yeah. Although I might check with these guys and see if they even want to do a third round. <laughs> and Quizzy with a bank. Clearing that stress. He's taking that boost. <coughs> yeah, Dengar's been doing, been doing pretty good. He arc dodged at one point. And Vessery with the forward four right up to the rock, but not quite on it. Yep. Dengar, forward one. He's a uh, slow roll to victory here. Mm-hmm. Mm so he's going to focus up. Dengar. Range one obstructed on the Inquisitor. And now he's got both the Maul reroll and Lone Wolf, so he's got potential for some serious hurt here. Natty's for four. Whoops, sorry, that was a fun hit. So four hits, Natty's. And Inky, Inky gets two, and the Evade token, one shield off Inquisitor. So it looks like, yep, there's Vessery with the free target lock. Lone Wolf there from Dengar. He's got two focuses otherwise. And he's going to turn it up. Take one. <clears throat> so there now, Dengar is properly showing points. That is half on Dengar now. Brendan is rocking 65 points compared to 35 points on Mikey's side. Hey, uh, question. If I, if I measure arc, do I have to shoot him? No. no. And you got my corner. <laughs> you, can, you can measure to see, like, ooh, who do I, ha who do I have targets on? No, I'm not going to shoot them. It's not like target lock where you measure and then you have to. So Vessery still with two shields and three hull. The Inquisitor with one shield and two hull. And Dengar rocking out now with four hull. We got uh, just over 10 minutes left. 11 minutes currently left in the match. <laughs> oh, those are the FFG ones, right? Yeah. So what you're saying is I should, what you're saying is I need to commission an alt art inquisitor. Yeah. Okay. So what you're saying is I need to commission an alt art inquisitor. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Stand there and make it look like that. Yeah. <laughs> First choice every time. What's that? You never, you never second death. Ever. You always burn through when I second death. So you gotta go with first. Not, not always, not always. I think you got some confirmation bias going on there, buddy. <laughs> so uh, just under 10 minutes left while these guys think out their turn. 
If Mikey is lucky, really lucky, he might be able to bring this even. If he can manage to get a kill shot in the Inquisitor in the next 10 minutes, he'll have one point advantage over uh, Brandon. So Brennan really needs to kill Dengar in this next couple turns. So Vessery doing, wow, another hard turn one. I'm a little surprised. Quizzy at a forward two trying to cause a Dengar bump. We'll see if he managed to make it. So there's the target lock for the evade. And he is going to push for a focus and hope that he's got that block going on. Oh, Mikey busting out the K-turn. Nobody expects the K-turn. No, it does shut off his mall rerolls, but he is still going to get the lone wolf. And uh, it looks like, looks like he just picked up four dice. I think he's rolling on the Inquisitor there. Oh, maybe not. He might be taking advantage of his shot, of a range two shot on Vessery. You know, Inky is three dice with a focus and an evade, so he's gonna attempt. Okay, so we end up with two hits. Yes. And Ooh, Vessery takes two, is that? So Vessery's at half life. Hmm? So Vessery is out of Dengar's arc, which means there won't be a counterattack. This. There we go. So he's got two hits so far. He's going to use his target lock to reroll the last one, which comes up as a blank. Dengar's got two defense, and he busts out one evade and one focus. Can't reroll that focus or modify, so he takes one damage. But he ain't dead yet. Anything with slam? Nope. I love this mall because I get revenue for you. Yeah, expertise is good, but mall frees up a bunch, right? Makes it more flexible, lets you clear. So five and a half minutes left. We're getting down to real crunch time here. Uh, I, I think I think if we were to shrink your mat onto a three foot mat, it would be a lot faster. Yeah. Four hundred three million. <laughs> Brendan is thinking really hard about how to maintain his margin here. Uh, 
not so bad after all. Yeah, Come on, come on, Graham. You don't gotta lie. <laughs> you still have a girlfriend. Lefty. <laughs> self care. Why? Thank you. Yeah, Quizzy, getting the hell out of there, and he looks like he's trying to barrel roll. Oh no, boosting out, boosting out. Trying to stay away from Dengar. We'll see what's going on here. Um, I'm really surprised actually at... Oh, there he goes. And then he's gonna push for that target lock. Get that evade token and a target lock up on Dengar again. Dengar. Two sloop. Gonna get that shot in behind on Vessery. Vessery is not gonna like this. And there's his focus. Now keep in mind he has the mall rerolls, and this is range three. But he's got the mall reroll and the lone wolf reroll. And Mikey doesn't even need it because Natty's. So Brendan needs something good here. A hit and a crit. Crit is direct hit. Oh, wow. It is two minutes, 44 left, and anybody's game. Guys, you're killing me here. My heart's going to explode. Did they get this an hour or two? No, I gave him the standard hour and a quarter. Final salvo, yo. Uh, we, depending on how people feel, they don't want to speak to I mean, you guys aren't getting any special prizing for it. It's just to keep you guys happy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if we finish early, that gives you guys a chance to either decamp home or check out the board games or the stuff that's going on. Mike, Luke, beautiful. Uh, I was actually, I was hoping to get uh, drawn and get that. But I was hoping to get the Legion, but you know, somebody else got that. Somebody. <laughs> Somebody asked that. Um, yes, uh, EG has them, and I think they have a Guild Ball Knight. So, actually a really good game. And the minis look super good. Really cool, those guys were playing Um, actually, I think Jason is the, one of the developers. Yeah. Oh, and there we go. Dengar shot. He's got a focus and two blanks. He's going to lone wolf one of them into a hit. And it sounds like he's going to maul as well. Yeah, he's going to maul that other blank into a focus. And that makes three hits from Dengar. Quizzy busting out uh, an evade and an evade token. Oh man, Dengar, um, Quizzy shooting back at Dengar now. Dengar's only got three health left. How close are we? But he's also, he could, if he fails to kill Dengar. Yep. He triggers a counterattack by Dengar, yeah. which could kill him. <laughs> so he is going to choose to attack. Yeah. He's hoping to kill him. Hoping, hoping to kill him. Uh, otherwise, he must risk that. That's fine. Okay, uh, a loser bracket. Oh. oh, my gosh. We're already on it. Oh, man. And that is a hit crit going through on Dengar. This could be... Oh! Damage cockpit on Dengar. The counterattack. 
Dangar bucks out a hit, hit crit. And that's game. Wow, that one, that was a fantastic match. Um, Mikey ends up eking out the win with a single hit point left on Dengar. Wow, what a game. All right, guys, thanks so for joining us, and uh, we will see you guys next time here on the channel.